One camera, social media, and a lot of determination to crack down on dangerous behavior on the road. We've been telling you about the man behind the reckless Roxborough account and his efforts to slow down speeders. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is digging deeper. She joins us live in Durham. Galat, you told us about this story earlier this week. How are city leaders now responding to this do-it-yourself approach? Well, Durham's mayor, Leonardo Williams, is very interested in what's happening here. He says he actually wants to check out this rooftop camera that Chris Perelstein put up. Both Perelstein and the city leaders I spoke to want to see similar changes. And tonight I asked those leaders when the changes could actually happen. The eye on Roxborough Street speeders. That is going to be our top speeder today. Has the eye of Durham Mayor Leonardo Williams. When we have something like this that is bringing the attention to us uh, in such an innovative way, it does help. He's talking about Chris Perelstein's camera, coded to take pictures of cars traveling more than 24 miles per hour above the speed limit and automatically posting to reckless Roxborough. When you saw what was um, happening with this camera on Roxborough Street, did you think, this is something I would like to use in an official capacity? Personally, yes. <laughs> However, Williams says a speed enforcement camera is not allowed under state law. Even if it would catch this car, Perelstein says is going 93 miles per hour. The city's plan, redesign Roxborough. And Roxborough is designed for speed. You can hear it right there. A 2020 city plan says Roxborough and Mangum Street should be converted from one to two-way traffic, forcing cars to slow down. Durham Transportation Director Sean Egan says with NCDOT set to repave the road this year. The time is now for us to do this. He says a company is studying traffic on Roxborough. What's it going to take to make the official recommendation to DOT to make it two ways? So we're going to have to show them that we can accommodate the number of vehicles that are traveling on the roadway uh, and that uh, we can improve, significantly improve the safety. NCDOT has the final say, but even if the street becomes two ways, Egan says it likely won't happen until 2025, so the repaving markings would be temporary. For Perelstein, change can't come fast enough. A modern, safe, and effective road design for all users. Don't worry if you don't have a speed camera up on your roof. There are still ways for you to get involved. Up on our website, we have a number where you can request speed enforcement from Durham Police in your neighborhood. The city's also going to be hosting several community meetings to discuss repaving projects, including this one in the coming weeks. We have those dates and times up on our website, cbs17.com. Live in Durham, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. Gilat, before you go, what was the highest speed again that he was able to record? Yeah, it actually happened just last weekend, 93 miles per hour. He says that was the record he's seen, and he hopes nobody tries to break that. Just unbelievable. All right, Galat, good work there. Thank you so much.